astronauts and rovers could soon have a GPS-like navigation system to get around the moon. The technology was unveiled by Spanish tech company GMV. They hope it can get humans one step closer to establishing permanent bases in space. With this software, we bring Europe closer to establishing a presence of humans on the moon. And potentially, this is, would be a stepping stone towards uh, a Mars exploration or human presence on Mars. Called Lupin, the project is part of a program by the European Space Agency. It aims to test new positioning, navigation and timing techniques, as interest in lunar surface exploration picks up. Project manager Stephen Kay says the technology was put to the test on the otherworldly landscapes on Fuerteventura, one of Spain's Canary Islands, which bears some resemblance to the lunar surface. Here in Fuerteventura, we've been testing the algorithms, we've been developing um, software, and we've been testing and collecting data sets in order to navigate and to um, localize or identify our location on the moon, similar to how on Earth we do with GPS and with our phones uh, every day. Currently, navigating the moon is challenging. Spacecraft on its surface rely on complex calculations and data relayed from Earth, which is neither quick nor precise. The lack of real-time updates on changes in the moon's terrain from recent impacts or lunar dust movements also hinder ground trips. By using signals similar to GPS from moon-orbiting satellites, Lupin could help pinpoint locations on the moon in real time. GMV also wants to combine existing lunar cartography with satellite data of the moon's dark spots, an area generally in shadow. The company's head of strategy, Mariela Graziano, says mapping out the moon's surface will one day allow astronauts to work there and set up permanent bases.